afternoon. <laughs> we are gathered here today to discuss Eli Weasel's novel, Night. The story takes place during World War II in Nazi Germany. Eli is a Jewish teenage boy with three sisters. He is passionate about his religion and eager to learn. However, his instruction is tragically cut short when his teacher, Moshe the Beetle, is deported. Moshe later returns and tells the town of the horrors of the war, but no one takes his warning. He is considered a lunatic. Oh <laughs> what a shame. Soon after, Eli and his family are taken to the first concentration camp in which they are separated. The men and women must split up so Eli won't ever see his sisters or mother again. Because the book is from Eli's perspective, there are only two main characters, him and his father. The two of them endure many challenges and are able to hold on for quite some time. Eli's father, although becoming extremely weak, is able to avoid numerous selections of death. Every few weeks, the doctor comes to evaluate who is still fit enough to walk, and the rest are killed. <gasps> They find the strength to repeatedly fake their health because of their love for each other. However, Eli's father is an old man and does not have the same strength. He eventually becomes ill. Eli tries to fight for his life, for giving him anything he can, like his food ration or extra clothing. There's only so much he can do, though. <sighs> Eli's father dies three months just before the Jews are liberated from the camp. Eli is able to survive, but just he spends a few weeks in the hospital between life and death, and that is where the novel ends. The depth of night is far more intense than many books that generalize the Holocaust. One of the main reasons for this is because it is from a first-person perspective, the perspective of Eli Weasel. Eli begins to lose his faith, wondering why his God could let this happen and not do anything to stop it. He was mad at his God for allowing such horrible things to happen to people who worshipped him with all their hearts and souls. On top of losing his faith, he begins to lose all feeling, both physically and emotionally. He becomes numb to the pain of the harsh treatment he receives at the camp. He also becomes indifferent to the torture that him and the others are going through. He only really considers himself and his father. This is not to say that he doesn't care, but when he loses his faith, he begins to realize that there is nothing he can do to stop the horrific things happening during that time. He knows that to worry and stress will do nobody any good. Yes, Eli cares deeply for his father, but he finds himself not even flinching when his dad gets hit or whipped by the guards. This is because he knows that he can do nothing in his power to prevent them from hurting his father. It is hard not to feel the pain of the Jews while reading this book because no detail is left out. This makes the book far more effective and powerful than any strictly factual explanation could be. Uh... I would give this book 5 out of 5 because of its lasting impact and resonating plot as it walks through the horrific experiences of a boy and his father. Ta-ta for now! <laughs>